In this video we introduce the last theorems and concepts in this area of fields and rings. So I'm going to introduce this theorem now. If R is a domain, so R is an integral domain, then there is a field F co containing the domain as a subring. Uh, not only that, but also F so the field can be chosen so that for all f in f, f elements of the field, there is elements a and b in the domain, uh, where b is uh, non-zero, such that f is equal to a times b inverse. So if we have a, a domain here, this domain can be enlarged, so to speak, um, to a field so we have a domain okay r is a domain and if r is a domain there will be a field f where r the the domain i'm going to call this the uh, okay i'm going to call it r but this is a domain okay so we have r here and if r is a, an integral domain then there is a field f containing R as a subring. And more, we can choose this field so that for every element F in the field, there will be an element A in the ring and B here in the ring, such that F, F is equal to A times B inverse. I'm not going to prove this. I prefer to use these videos or the next couple of videos to do some exercises. I was asked by many people to do more exercises. So I'm jumping more proofs and getting into exercises. So if we built a field like this one, like we did here, right? So we had this uh, ring, but this ring was uh, a domain okay and we built it a field okay and we know that there is a field that contains this uh, domain and also this further information okay this is called the fraction field okay this field built it this way is called the fraction field and usually we write fraction so this is the field of fractions of, of fraction field the fraction field of the ring okay so we say a and b these elements they are in the fraction field of the ring okay and a, B, these elements, elements A and B, will be, of course, obviously, A over B. Okay, so this is the, the, the field of fractions. Okay. Um, in particular, if we have elements A and 1 in, in a ring, okay, any ring, we write this as a over one okay so uh, this allows us to generalize um, lots of rings and get some obvious uh, uh, fraction fields okay so uh, examples we pick the um, ring of the integers right and the fraction field of, of the integers is obviously the rationals. Okay, so we can write the fraction field of the integers are the rationals. Okay, any rational number is written as a over b, where a and b are integer. Okay, uh, where b 
b is not zero. Okay. So let me write this here. Okay. So a last definition: uh, a subfield of a field K. This is big K. Is a subfield of a field K is a subring K. This K is a small K of big K. That is also a field. So a subfield of a field is a subring that is also a field. Um, some interesting information. Let us say that K is a subset of K where K is a field. So a subset K where K is a field uh, is a subfield if and only if K the small one is a subring closed under inverses okay and another information well, let me write here with a sec so a subset k of a field k is a subfield if and only if k small k is a subring closed under inverses right so what we mean is if um, a is an element in small k if a is an element in small k of course non-zero element okay then we can say that the inverse will be also in small k okay okay another aspect uh, an intersection of subfields of k k field is itself a subfield of k um, okay so, as I already said, um, I did not uh, got into too many proofs because I will solve some exercises.